I didn't think that I was going to record a video discussing how I felt about my low buy for this month. Look, man. Look. I hated it. <laughs> if you haven't seen any of my videos, hello, what's up? I'm Christy, Ishi 2.0 to you. Um, I am on a low buy because I'm trying to save up for a couple of things. The more that I think about my low buy rules, the more that I'm actually treating it as a no buy. I think that's where the source of my stress comes from, is that whenever I buy something, I, I feel guilty about it. And I shouldn't because the point of a low buy is just slowing your roll to not shop as much and which is what I did you know I, I haven't bought anything um, unnecessarily and the only things that I bought this month or this past month were things that I felt I needed or that I actually did need but for some reason after I would buy it I would still feel guilty I think I need to review this low buy contract that I have with myself and see if it's working and see if there's any way that I can like not hate it but still not spend as much. My rule is like I'm not going to buy anything unless it replaces something else um, and then that's it. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to revert a little bit further and allow myself $30 of something of whatever and just be strict about that $30. I, I do need to be able to buy something to survive. <laughs> Is that terrible? It's only when I buy things in packs that I tend to regret the purchase. But when it comes to like bigger ticket items, I don't just buy it nilly willy. I do make a concerted effort to research on it. So the two things that I bought, one I didn't really actually need. And I kind of did need it because it's lotion and I'm a, a dry, dry bitch in several ways. It's winter now. So the lotion that I was using, it's like a Bath and Body Works, really, really thin formula. I was getting really itchy after using it. Um, I would definitely typically put lotion on after a shower. So all the moisture would dissipate and I would get itchy. So I needed something a little bit thicker, and I bought the Love Beauty Planet um, body butter, and that was like 10 bucks. So the next thing that I actually did need was like a mascara, and I, I really don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I think I'm going to, this next month, I'm going to use a little, well, I don't think I should have put it towards my budget because it's like, well, ah, ugh, say I don't know. I need something that holds my curl. So I don't know if I should categorize that as a necessity or categorize that as something that I don't really need because I already have a mascara in that mascara category and I'm not going to just throw it away. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I've been trying to use my time wisely as opposed to constantly researching makeup. And that's another point that I wanted to make. I was in, I lurk in Reddit. So in this particular time, I was lurking on Reddit uh, makeup rehab. And there was a post made by someone who said that she, well, this person. So they said that they grew up with frugal parents. And so whenever, like now as an adult, they can't get themselves to buy anything, but they still have an interest in makeup. And they would constantly research and adding things to their car, taking it out of the car, not knowing if they should buy it or not. And then when they do, they feel so much regret. And I had never read anything that had touched my soul in that way because that's what I do. I like to think that I don't buy a lot of stuff, like period, but especially like not makeup. There's two seasons 
that I do allow myself to splurge. So June, which is my birthday month, and then in December because it's the holidays. Between that, I generally don't allow myself to go crazy. It's only in the past two months that I did. And that's why I'm on a low buy because I'm guilt ridden. <laughs> I'm not used to being so frivolous with my money and you know on one hand I should treat myself on the other hand um, you know I have better ways to spend my time and resources on since I felt that so strongly that post so strongly I made a concerted effort to not go on YouTube so often or if I am on YouTube I would search project pans or Things that utilize one's makeup collection rather than channels that encourage accumulation. So I think that's the direction my channel is going to be, at least for the rest of the year. I've also been trying to read more. I have like a thick stack of books that I need to go through. And I've also been recently gifted a graphic novel. Then I have like a bunch of books in my Kindle. I have a bunch of physical books. And then I, I keep going to these tiny libraries around my neighborhood and then I get books that way. I have a lot of books. I've been tr thinking very seriously about um, doing like arts and crafts type stuff. So this house, my husband gave it to me for our anniversary and then we put it together. Really, really cute activity. It took me two days, two days, like a day and a half straight of just like putting this shit together. <laughs> Not shit, I love it very much. I also have been thinking about making pop-up cards for Christmas to send out to like clients and family and friends. I want to go back to college this next year, so I bought a math workbook. <laughs> I bought a math workbook for remedial math levels. Um, as articulate as I like to believe that I am in English, I am sorely lacking in the math department. I like science and history and I can retain information uh, with those subjects just fine, but when it comes to math, I would rather punch myself in the face. Is that an exaggeration? No, I don't. I don't like math. I'm trying to train myself to at least be slightly more competent in maths because when I take the math test uh, to see where your your levels are in various subjects um, I don't want to go to remedial math class that's just embarrassing to me so I refuse to do it so that's why I'm doing it on my own and right now I am pretty pretty good at dividing if I do say so myself also this recording videos is another way that I can utilize my time in a creative way. That's how I've been trying to stop myself from wanting to purchase so much. I do want to get into writing more. So that's my goal for this November month. Plus, um, I also, I am more than willing to cook Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, that's, that's my goals for this next month on how to you know, redirect my energy towards something that doesn't require me to spend any money, frankly. That's it. Thank you for watching. Um, oh, and another thing. I want to get better at editing my videos. So that's another thing. Okay, I am sick, so I'm going to go pass the F out, and I will I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.